I'm one of those fortunate people who sort of knew from a young age what they wanted to do. I always wanted to be in a courtroom. I went to college in upstate New York, in the capital of New York, Albany, SUNY Albany, a state school, and graduated in four years, spent a couple of years in graduate school studying philosophy. And then when I was done, I moved to Boston, went to Boston University School of Law, had a great time in Boston. I had a contact at the district attorney's office in Kings County, Brooklyn, New York. And before my third year was even over in law school, they offered me a position and I took it unquestionably. I don't even think I applied anyplace else. I saw the way that different individuals were treated differently and just the unevenness in prosecution. And I decided rather quickly that it wasn't for me. So I, I left the prosecution's office and became a public defender. I've spent thousands of hours with law enforcement agents, with prosecutors, uh, cops, special agents, postal inspectors. And I got to know how they think. I got to know how they think about prosecution. I got a sense of what's important to them. As a result of knowing what they want, I can better guide my clients in negotiations with the prosecution's office, and I can better guide my clients in how they should act when confronted with criminal investigations. It makes me feel really good, and it makes me feel like I'm contributing to the advancement of, of society and to just humankind and justice when I help others. That's really what speaks to me mostly.